Okay, so I'm Nicolas. I was born, say, 200 kilometers to the east of here in Cologne, Cologne, in a different country. And in that country, I was uh, trained as a mathematician. And five years ago, I came to Tilburg to join the Department of Econometrics in OR as a teacher and as a researcher. And well, as a teacher, I've mostly been involved in the econometrics programs like the moment the master in quantitative finance, actuarial science, also um, the econometrics and mathematical economics master. And well, a lot of what I'm teaching is, I would say, in a broad sense, applied mathematics, sometimes very, very applied mathematics. And I strongly believe in teaching mathematics by storytelling. Yeah? So it's not, okay, here is the beautiful theory, because the problem with that is you only see the beauty after you've understood it, plus maybe you're never going to see it. Instead, I like to tell stories, okay, someone has a problem. Yeah? So they are supposed to sell a very complicated derivative, financial derivative, or they are supposed to make the financial system safer, or they have to assess a certain risk, yeah, risk that um, a certain company goes bankrupt, risk that a disease breaks out. Yeah, you could also tell stories like that. Um, yeah, and I usually tell these stories, yeah, so there's this person and it's their job to solve this problem. And then they come to you maybe and say, okay, here, please, econometrician, help me. And then I'm a strong believer also in staring at problems until they start to look easy. Yeah, so I do. I believe that most things are actually easy once you've properly understood them. Yes, yeah? so, I mean, there may be exceptions like the solar system maybe or cricket, but most things are actually easy if you look at them for long enough. And then it's my job as a teacher and as a researcher both yeah, to stare at stuff until it has, it has started to become easy and then to explain to people why it's also easy. And of course, also to... <laughs> tell these tricks to people so that they can also stare at stuff and make it easy. Yeah, well, and my teaching is mostly in financial mathematics, I would say, in a broad sense. Um, yeah, so these topics somehow were much more popular when I was a student, like 15 years ago, and then came the financial crisis and, uh, and people said, oh, it didn't work. The models were all wrong. Let's um, stop studying this. Let's give up. I actually started to become really interested uh, because um, somehow just because there are all these unsolved problems and just because we don't properly understand how to deal with all these risks doesn't mean that there isn't a lot of research to be done. Yeah? There's a lot of stuff that you still need to understand better. And yeah, also there are still these jobs, right? Because it's not like the banks stopped doing business after the financial crisis. So there's still a lot to learn and to understand and well, yeah, I guess this is what I stand for as a teacher. Thanks for listening.